Welcome to a deep dive into the incredible tapestry of human evolution. Join us as we explore each detail, from Australopithecus to the innovative Cro-Magnon man, and unravel their remarkable stories. Our odyssey begins in the Paleocene epoch, 66 million years ago, after the dinosaurs have faded into history. Australopithecus, discovered by Raymond Dart in 1924 in Tong, South Africa, emerges as a key figure. Australopithecus stands upright, a groundbreaking shift towards bipedalism. Their brain size is relatively small, about 450 cubic centimeters, but their teeth are robust. They roamed wooded areas and grasslands, example, Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, dot, as we step into the Eocene epoch. 56 million years ago, Homo habilis takes the stage. Discovered in the 1960s by Lewis and Mary Leakey in Oldaway Gorge, Tanzania, these early humans make their mark, Homo habilis boasts a larger brain, around 600 cubic centimeters, and more dexterous hands. They're known for crafting early stone tools, the Oldowan tools, for cutting and processing meat. Their habitats vary from woodlands to savannas. Example, specimens from Oldaway Gorge, our journey brings us to the Oligocene epoch, 34 million years ago. Homo erectus steps onto the scene, first discovered by Eugene Du Bois in Java, Indonesia, in the late 19th century. Homo erectus features a brain of about 900 cubic centimeters, long legs, and reduced sexual dimorphism. They master advanced tool use, control fire, and potentially use shelters. Their range spans Africa, Asia, and Indonesia, examples, Java man, Sangiron 17, and Peking man, Homo erectus pekinensis, the Miocene epoch, 23 million years ago, introduces us to Homo heidelbergensis. This species, named after Heidelberg, Germany, where early fossils were found, fills the gap between Homo erectus and later hominins. Homo heidelbergensis exhibits features intermediate between Homo erectus and Neanderthals, including a larger brain. They display improved toolmaking and likely used shelters. Their presence is recorded in Europe and Africa, examples, Cabway Man, Broken Hill Man, and Bodo Cranium, as we enter the Pliocene epoch. 5.3 million years ago, the Neanderthals, or Homo neanderthalensis, stepped forward. They were first discovered in the Nienda Valley, Germany, in 1856. These stocky beings are characterized by their prominent brow ridges and large noses. They have a sophisticated tool culture, create clothing, and exhibit evidence of burial rituals. They occupied Europe and parts of Asia, examples, classic Neanderthals, La Chapelle UX Saints, and progressive Neanderthals, Spy Cave, Dot, Rhodesian Man, referring to a fossil found at Broken Hill Cave in Cabwe, Zambia. In 1921, marks a crucial phase in our story, believed to be Homo heidelbergensis, Rhodesian Man had a large brain and is considered an ancestor to later hominid species, including Homo sapiens. Their tool use was more advanced than earlier species, Grimaldi Man represents early modern humans, Homo sapiens, found in the Grimaldi caves on the Italian Riviera, these early modern humans had the anatomical features of Homo sapiens and left behind intricate cave paintings, carvings, and other forms of art. They inhabited caves along the Mediterranean coast. As we approach the Holocene, about 100,000 years ago, we meet cro Man, an early version of Homo sapiens, residing in southwestern France. Cro-Magnon people closely resemble modern humans. They exhibit advanced cognitive abilities and create remarkable cave art, tools, and jewelry. Our journey, from Australopithecus to Cro-Magnon man, paints a vivid picture of our evolutionary history. Each species contributed to the mosaic of human evolution, pushing the boundaries of what it means to be human, from the wooded landscapes of our earliest ancestors to the creative brilliance of Cro-Magnon man, this journey reflects our shared ancestry and the enduring human spirit of discovery, adaptation, and creativity. Thank you.